Hey there, toy fans. Welcome back. Happy Sunday to everyone here. And today I have, uh, I don't know, is this like a challenge video? Maybe. I'm not sure how to describe it. But if you remember my past video about this guy that I found clean but missing his battery box and looks like he was, uh, I don't know, stripped by opening up at least the uh, top <laughs> the top half of his body. And, um, you know, people were saying, leave it as a display, this and that. But those that know me knows there's no way I can't leave this beautiful because he's so shiny and clean. So it was almost like the robot gods were smiling. And, and I came across this guy on eBay. Kind of a junker, also not working, but complete. He's got his battery box in here and everything else. So I said, you know what? This is a challenge for the robot hut. And we'll see if the robot hut can create one beautiful toy out of these two. I think he can, and I would prefer this one because it's just shinier and <laughs> nicer looking. Um, but we'll see, so I'm gonna send these off. Look, and even all the paint is nicer. Okay. You gotta admit, if you can save one, well, you know, I mean, they, in theory, they could both be saved, right? But this one just looks like he's destined for salvation. And this maybe, you know, can, uh, can evolve into something cool custom-wise. And uh, in haste, actually, I also came across this guy thinking, well, could he be a donor? But he's a nice original, and he's not the blue one. But he, his eyes light up, but he's, his motor is not working. So all these toys, I'm going to send off to the hut and see what it can do. Will the robot hut be able to bring these guys back to life? And then let's look at these other toys. Okay, you got these radars and zoomers here. We'll see what happens. Now, this is my second of three Mars trips, All right? This is an absolutely spectacular toy. And in fact, the Robot Hut did a video on this toy. So if you haven't seen it, now this isn't the same toy. I have that other toy. I actually, believe it or not, I, I'm embarrassed to say I have three of these <laughs> toys. So if anyone wants to trade down the road, once I uh, have this guy uh, completed, let me know. I'd be willing to trade for something very cool. Now, this is a very unique, absolutely beautiful toy. The saucer looks like the CD-57. The rocket, uh, what these, I forgot what you call these things, but, you know, uh, it's just a, a cool style. Uh, I forgot that those pods were called. If there's a name for them, I just can't, it's, I'm having a brain lapse here. So, the one thing about this toy is this part here on the one that the robot had already fixed this had like a disc here with two two metal contacts i'm assuming they made contact somewhere there by the way i'll show you this cool lithography right this is of course a canto toy that's got robots on there <laughs> this guy looks like the uh, Zuma robot, doesn't he? How cool is that? And who knows if this wire could be Sally? I mean, I don't know. This is this is going to be tricky. He might say, hey, don't even send this to me. <laughs> I hope not, John. I hope you're up for the challenge because my intention is to send this over. I'll just let's see if I can. It's hard, hard to do this holding the camera. We'll just precariously balance it that way. And finally this. Craxton Great Astronaut, who's not working, but ironically, or just interestingly enough, when I got this toy, it didn't have an antenna, so I got an antenna for it, but it did actually have a piece of wire that was bent in like a million directions. It, like, a, like, I don't know, a, 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 a ball of yarn. I mean, I unraveled the wire and the diameter fit into the tube, but the, the wire was like two feet long. I'm like, what the hell were they thinking doing this, you know? And uh, so then thankfully I also came across a nice dome. So we're gonna have a replacement dome because this has got some cracks. And this is going to be the challenge for the robot hut. One, two, three, four, five. So do you guys think that he can get these things perfect? I say yes, he does some amazing stuff. If anyone can repair these and bring them back to life, it will be John. So that's my Sunday robot and space toy challenge. As always, thank you for watching. And I would ask at the robot hut, you know, if you agree to this challenge, right? 
take video, like make a video of these and let's, let's kind of link up this, this uh, series, right? The, uh, the Bringing Back to Life series and maybe it will, uh, it will spark a lot of interest. You know, I'm sure people would like to see the process of uh, fixing and getting these guys all, all back to life. Uh, if you would like that, leave a remark. I think it would be very cool. And uh, John, I would also say the same thing. If you don't want these, let me know before I ship them. With that, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment like I mentioned, and um, you know, follow any other links that come up after this video, which in next one actually I won't, so don't worry about that last part. Thanks again. I'll talk to you later.